I will give you habits of three different people, and you're gonna have to pick who you think is the best among them based on their habits. All right? Okay, let's go. First up, we have Mr. A. Had friendship with bad politicians. Consults astrologers. Two wives. A chain smoker. Drinks eight to ten times a day. Mr. B. He was kicked out of office twice. Sleeps till noon. Used opium in college. Drinks whiskey every evening. Lastly, we have Mr. C. He is a decorated war hero. A vegetarian. Doesn't smoke. Doesn't drink. Never cheated on his wife. Now, who do you think is the best among them? Most of us would say, mm, "Easy peasy, Mr. C, right?" Now let's see who these people are in real life. Mr. A was Franklin Roosevelt, the 32nd president of the USA, and Mr. B was Winston Churchill, former British Prime Minister. And guess who Mr. C was? Surprise, surprise! Mr. C was Adolf Hitler, and I don't need to further say anything about him. Are you shocked? Feeling strange? See, character is a complex phenomenon, so it is very risky, or shall we say, dangerous, to judge someone by his or her habits or past, because we can be totally wrong about who they really are. Things and people. Are not always as they appear. Sometimes we make quick assumptions about people or situations. We silently judge them without asking them any questions, label them, and file them away, not realizing there may be a backstory or a much bigger picture. Well, I'm not saying judgment is bad, because it is judgment that helps us. It is judgment that guides us and protects us. However, we need to remember. That when it comes to judgment, we should always be open to allow it to change and to evolve. We would never want to be permanently judged for something we said or did in the past. So why do we do that to others? We need to learn that our assumptions are not always correct.